Hey YouTube, subscribers and friends, I'm going to show you how to remove an image's background and replace it with another background, like in this picture right here. Okay, I took a picture of me and my girlfriend and put it into a beach and everything, just a quick little thing. And you come here and look at other creations I made, you know, just quick stuff, I don't know, so I put this side together real quick and I have some downloads you can check out and everything. You know, that's, a, that's something to get right there. And uh, the website is sites.google.com forward slash site forward slash Leo Productions site forward slash home. And it brings you to my home page. And, okay, what we're, we're, what we're going to do is remove me and my girlfriend out of this picture. Now, a lot of ways to do it where you use the eraser tool, the magic eraser, and you erase it up the color, you know. We're not going to do that, guys. It's inaccurate. What we're going to do is use a quick selection tool. It works very, very well. And all you do is you can either select the background and everything, but I always find that it's more to select. Unless it's all like one same color, then it's like one or two selections, you're done. First thing you do is, I already did it, but there's me a little lock symbol right there, just like that. If you unlock it, you just double click on the layer. And it, a thing pops up and says, um, and I'll say it like, new layer, blah, 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 and just hit OK, and it unlocks it. And we went, after that, he's come here, put a brush size for this picture, around 15, 14 or 15, and start selecting. And you actually just, you can actually like, draw all over it and everything. Select all of it. select it all. Don't worry about it getting the background yet because I can always go back and fix that. I'll show you how to do that in a moment. See how I got that? I'll show you how to fix it in a moment. It's very really quick and easy. Selects the image. It's just the, it's just the same way as using color range, you know. But we're not picking the color out. We're picking the whole image out. There's obviously different colors and everything and, and the colors collide with the background so we can't use color range. To get my whole image selected. That was one of the little parts, but I'll show you how to fix that. So what we do is come back to our quick selection tool, get the magic wand, and to zoom in on Photoshop, hold down all button, and if you have a scrolly ball, it's a lot easier than doing this with right? the, the magnifying glass. The all button, scrolly, and scroll in, and it zooms in. Okay? And now, to erase all this right here, put a tolerance around 15. Around 15 that's that's good. And hold Alt and select. So you erase that right there. That's what we want. Oh, these these, these colors are difficult, so let's put around thirty. See, it takes it right away. So what we're gonna do because <coughs> of hair and everything, I'm gonna leave all these little specks right here. I don't really worry about that that much. And I will show you a way to get rid of that pretty easy. And it's actually using an eraser tool. I just leave all that because good colors. Okay. Now I come over here. Now this is part of my arm, arm, my hand. You, you say keep using this tool and hold down the shift button and select. Turn tolerance around 20 for this color and select. See I got more on my arm? Nope, got just about off it. It's perfect to what I want. See? No. Right here, it's okay. Contr 
control C. Okay, now we have copy. Come here to new. And the image size was like 600 by 800 standard size. Okay. Now control V. It'll paste it right there. What you do is zoom in to this part right here, how we copy that too. Take the eraser tool, just plain eraser. I'll also make the brush size bigger. Come here and erase all that. Now if you really wanted to and I also flicked in right now, you could have wiped on the image. Oops. You could have actually took it out in the image or anything. You, have to do what, you don't have to do what I'm doing right now. If you went back and did it the right way, but oh well. Okay, good enough. Okay, now what you do again? Okay, control. Okay, select, select all. Had the transparent background, so if you paste it onto another image, the background's not gonna, the background's not gonna show up. So go to select, select all, control, C. Now go to our background, whatever it may be, you can be whatever you want, and now paste it, control V. Put it right there, bam. Bring it down a little bit, to wherever you want. And then what you do, would we'll save it, and bam, your image is done. And that's really about it for this. Um, check out my website, you know, support, download Photoshop CS4 for free. And if you have a Game Battles account, me and my girlfriend's little brother are looking for some recruits for Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare. Or doing a team for the Game Battles, obviously. Our team is called Call of Duty Navy, the CODN. And right now, it's just currently me, him, and his friend. And we need some more members so we can actually do some matches and everything if you're interested. And uh, make a Game Battles account, gamebattles.com, and then click on if up here. It'll say like um, join Game Battles. And once you do that, uh, go to Xbox 360 right here, go to Call of Duty Modern Warfare, and there will be a search thing. A search bar, I'm pretty sure. And look for Call of Duty Navy. That's a team name. And then you find it, send a request or anything, and you'll be hooked up and help us out a lot. But okay. And that was it. Alright, thank you. And subscribe, rate, comment, whatever. Any questions about anything, let me know. Alright, bye.